cracking. Shrackin', rockin', 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 rockin'. Shreel takes it, Julie's breaks. Shrackin', rockin', 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 rockin'. Shout out to the card crew. Julie's breaks will please you. This one is a lion. Rocket, 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 Land cracking in the house Isn't satisfied with a mouse Biting corners of the cards Leaving cards in shards Land cracking Land cracking Land cracking Land cracking Land Yeah, hey and welcome Yeah, we got this uh, giant box from Steve at For the Polls Via the Susan uh, the Goose Express And we got land crackings we say they're very, very hungry. Oh, temptations. Yep, yep, value size. All right, back up, back up, back up. All right, can you get the lid off? What about you? Nope. Here. <laughs> Dusty. All right, nobody's getting the lid off. How about some help? There you go. And there's yours, and Dusty tries to steal yours. Uh, uh, you gotta let her eat hers. <laughs> yours are right here, right here. There you go. All right, hurry up, JD. <laughs> I don't know. Dusty is like does not want to share these days. All right, hurry up. You got one more. You're almost done. All right, good job. So this box has got writing all over it and super huge. And we want to give away everybody's information, so you can watch the land krakens doing whatever. While I get this open, oh, this thing's very heavy. Come on, Dusty, right there. I don't know. <laughs> of course, he comes over here and starts trying to eat the box. No, 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 watch it. You're going to get in trouble there. Oh, but now you've lost your temptations, too. Hey, you had some. All right, I got to pause it. Things are getting out of control here. Okay. Well, I was opening the box. Dusty knocked the camera over twice. So, we've got the box open. There's a book here. What is this? No, no, don't eat. Oh, this is uh, probably true. And no eating the book. Dusty says you can't know that secret information. <laughs> How to tell if you're... Yeah... He's trying to kill this book right now. I did tell if your cat is plotting to kill you. Pull out poster inside. New York Times bestseller. Yeah, Dusty's very upset about this. Oh, let's see what this... Ooh, this looks really uh, interesting. All kinds of important information in here. <laughs> Is they're funny. Oh, 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 look at that. Dino Kraken being ridden by the land Kraken. So, yeah, that's what these cats are thinking. One's a flying spaceship or like an airplane for a military or something. The other's riding the Dino Kraken. Yep, yep. Oh, man. I don't know where the poster part is. Maybe in the front. 
Oh, we're going to have a great time reading this. The, the oatmeal. All right, I got to pick that up because that's going to be 100% eaten if I don't. Oh, look at all this stuff in here. Don't eat the box. So, oh, we got some of these. You can't get these here. But I've seen a bunch of people opening these. These older packs that you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart. Yeah, oh. I've never opened 0809 anything. I think Slappy opened a blaster. There was a hobby box. And no, oh, there's some good stuff to be found. Oh, and look at this. I haven't opened any of this either. CHL 2223 with Connor Bedard right there. And Fantilli. And there's a bunch of other, um, I guess, soon to make their NHL debut players in there. Oh, what is this? There's some kind of um, mat in here. Oh, this is like um, to open cards on. <laughs> Dusty, it's not for ripping. Dusty says this is a map for eating and ripping. No, it's not. All right. Yeah. I'm going to move the pucks. And we're going to put out this mat. Ooh, sweet. Ooh, it's big, too. Collect the best. And then it's got all the different teams on it. And Dusty. Dusty, can you get off the mat so I can show it? No, you're going to have to eat my arm. Ah, uh, there's the wild right there. Mm, right above the LA Kings. Look out. So you can put your cards on here and not get them uh, dirty or eaten. At least they think they're not being eaten, but they're still being eaten. And these uh, packs. And got cards and top loaders. And we got a note. All right, let's try to prop the camera up so we can read the note. You're way too close. You need to back up. All right, here's the note. No, no, it's not for eating. Not for eating. <laughs> Dusty's like attacking. All right, we got to pick up the camera. Hello, Julie and the Land Krakens. Thank you so much for the awesome cards. I hope you enjoy this package. Good luck on Bedard Hunt for the polls. Oh, look at those adorable land krakens. Yeah, this one must be Dusty, who's upside down and causing trouble. And this one must be JD, just being real calm. In fact, she has absolutely disappeared. I don't see her at all. After uh, Dusty was mean and scared her off. But awesome. Another one-of-one one artwork note that we absolutely love. All right, Crazy Dusty, why don't you uh, work on those temptations? And let's try to put our pucks on the mat. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, we'll be breaking on this mat from now on. We didn't have anything like this. Stan does not want to tilt. Now it's tilting. This mat is so large that I can't even get the whole thing on camera. Move this a little bit. So yeah, we got the CHL. We've got five of these awesome uh, old school packs. And we got these uh, top loaders. I'm going to put these into the loose pack series, I think. And uh, probably this one, too. Think about it. Let's uh, open these top loaders, although now I'm scared. Because there's some real thickies in there. Thicker than slap nuts. All right, Dusty's really uh, going at those temptations now. It's really fired up. Oh, if you don't know uh, Steve over for the polls, then you don't know about the spinach hunt or the goose universe or the CN Tower hunt. You're missing out. 
So he has an awesome channel over there. And he is our guru of all things, Alan and Ginter. So he tells us what we're going to hunt in the different years. And then on March 1 of each year, we have a huge community-wide event where we chase these cards and people post their videos. And whoever is closest wins amazing prizes, but everyone who enters also can win prizes. So that event, again, is coming up March 1, 2024. And this year, people are going to open three different years of Allen & Ginter if they have them. Uh, you'll be able to open up to eight packs. They can be hobby. They can be retail. So in 2021, we're looking for this card. This is the spinach card. Good for you. Uh, GFY1. That's the chase card for 2021. This is the chase card for 2022. The goose card. This is MD10 from 2022 Ellen and Ginter. And 2023, Ellen and Ginter, we're chasing the mini uh, only in Toronto CN Tower card, which you will see uh, talked about. I haven't pulled it yet. When I do open the 2023 Ellen and Ginter hobby box, which is already filmed, but this video might air before it. But again, those chases, community wide event coming up March 1, 2024. So make sure you get yourself some Ellen and Ginters. You can have eight packs from each year. And uh, yeah, that's going to be awesome. Last year we had almost 100 people. I think we hope to break 100 this year. Okay, let's see what uh, we got here in the top loaders. So we got a Fleer Ultra Ultra Rookie, John Scott. This is from the older Fleer Ultra, 0910. Of course, uh, Upper Deck did a Fleer Ultra E-Pack set this year. We've got a few cards from that. But this is old school. Ooh, look at this nice Synergy card, Brandon Duhaime. 173 out of 275. Looks like a purple rookie. Yeah, Synergy does have some sweet cards. I've never opened a hobby box. But I like the colors. I like the designs. They have a lot of acetate cards. And they do look real cool. Uh, we've got Metal Universe. We got Blue. This is from last year. We got Kaylin Addison. No, Dusty. Uh, who has resigned with the Wild? So hopefully he's going to have a breakout year because we need him to to do that with um, Matt Dumba going to Arizona. And we have Brock Faber who played only in the playoffs, coming directly from University of Minnesota. So he's a rookie on defense. So we need our defense to, to, you know, step it up. We need this guy to step it up too, who's not going to be a rookie anymore. We've got Matt Boldy on the Artifacts rookie. This is, um, uh, color is this rose? I think this is a rose variation, uh, 299. He signed an eight, I think it was eight year extension last year. Huge contract. And he actually played really well when Kirill was hurt. But the Wild have to kind of figure out how to roll those two lines with Krill on the top line and then Boldy anchoring that second line so we can get production out of both lines. They re-signed Marcus Johansson too, who also has been helping Boldy on that line. All right, we got uh, Ice Green rookie Kalen Addison. We got more ice here. We got Joel Erickson Eck coming back from that broken leg. That really hurt the Wild in the playoffs last year. But he is enormously important on this team, too. Really underrated in the NHL overall, I think. And then our captain, captain, along with the Nordy, Jared Spurgeon. And Nordy, he is like, a lot of these mascot cards, like the players, really big in the mascots, like some munchkin. But um, Nordy, I've seen Nordy at games, like up in the stands and stuff. And he is huge. He is way, way bigger than Jared Spurgeon. Nordy is a big guy. So we got the ice reps from MVP. Uh, we've got uh, sweet selections with the NHL Shield background there. This is uh, Kalen Addison from OPG Platinum. It's kind of hard to see these shields. They're kind of subtle, but it's a real cool design. I do like this a lot. 
I've been a big fan of OPG Platinum this year. I've actually done fairly well with the centering and quality control, although a lot of people have had problems. I guess I've just been fortunate. We got some more green ice. We got Cam Talbot. Oh, we got a Kirill. Sweet. Beauty Kirill for the PC. Cam Talbot. I think he's on the Sharks. I know there's some players um, just in the past week, different teams got put on the waivers to go to the AHL and stuff, but I think he's still up with the Sharks. We got Canvas, Marcus Foligno, who also just got a brand new, I think, four-year contract. Uh, he's assistant captain. He's really one of the, you know, leaders on the team. It's real important that he come back and have a good year. Oh, yeah, he said he had an extra Matty Beneers young gun that he was going to send me. So thank you. Really appreciate this because we didn't have that for the set. And, yeah, he had a tremendous year, of course, winning Calder. Krakens did really well in the playoffs, and yeah, I think they will definitely be a strong team again. Really like the Kraken. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, I think he uh, told me about this card, but wow, this, this is so gorgeous in person. Oh, it's 9 out of 10. This is Ryan Suter Ultimate from when he was on the Wild. And look at this gorgeous card. Um, this was used in the NHL All-Star Skills Competition in 2015. Wow, that's uh, gorgeous. Of course, our Wild fans now all upset with him because he's such a big-time agitator on the Dallas Stars. But, you know, when he was on the Wild doing that, everybody's like, oh, that's great. Because um, he's actually, you know, he's a really strong player, and I don't think he missed, like, even a game last year, even though he's getting to be older. And we got, oh, well, look at this, another one. Oh, this is from the Cup. Jason Palmaville, 22 out of 99. Look at that patch. And it's auto, too. Wow. Another absolutely gorgeous card. Wow, these Cup cards, they are so amazing. Uh, used in an official NHL game. Wow. That's uh, gorgeous. We gotta make room. You guys getting booted. We gotta put these nicer cards up here. All right, Dusty has wandered off, so I don't think they're going to get eaten. All right, next up, oh, we got the Kirill rookie retrospective with the jersey. Definitely did not have this. Twenty 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 one rookie rankings points one goals one. Yeah, he had a little bit less production last year because Logan Stanley. Get, gonna get thrown if I pull him out of anything. Sat on Kirill and hurt him, and he was out like a month. Luckily, the Wild were still able to wait and make the playoffs, but that really hurt the season. I don't think he was really a hundred percent in the playoffs because he was trying to come directly back from that injury. But sounds like he probably will be this year. Oh yeah, he also told me this was coming. Ooh, look at this diamond, diamond mine relic Kirill jersey. These black diamond cards are also really gorgeous. And this is a game used also. Yeah, some black diamond stuff is manufactured, but they also have some ni really nice game used stuff in there. All right, you can go with Duhame there. And, oh man, it's still going. Look at this one. We've got uh, SPX rookie patch. This looks very f fuzzy of uh, Adam Beckman. And this one is worn. Got to feel this patch. Oh, yeah, it definitely feels uh, fuzzy there. A little bit of jersey there. Wow, super cool. And, of course, I also really like Adam Beckman. I think he can really put up some numbers if he gets more opportunity. He can score. Yep. And we got a green Beck Beckman. We're getting, like, the whole green set there. Oh, look at this. Panini Prime. Oh, wow. He didn't tell me this was coming. Panini Prime, Miko Koivu, black. Or really dark green. I've never seen this card. 2013-2014 uh, Panini Prime Hockey. Wow, that's a gorgeous card, too. Love it. It kind of looks like one of those Ultimate designs, but it's a different set. 
We got two more cards. We got Luke Cunning, Premier Rookie. Oh, this is from Premier. This is two out of three ninety nine. And here's a 1718. Of course, he's bounced around the league some, but yeah, I really liked him. Again, I wish the Wild would have kept him. And another player that was really good for the Wild, we've got Premier Mikhail Granlin, who's been moving around to some different teams. I wasn't he on like Pittsburgh or something recently? We'll have to double check. But yeah, he's in the league, been moving around. But some of those wild they had, like they had Granlin, they had Charlie Coyle, they had Alex Tuck. I mean, I think they made some big mistakes with some of those those trades. Of course, that's before uh, Bill Guerin got there and things have kind of been the Bill Guerin era lately. <laughs> Look at all these green ice cards we've got. Wow, this is so much awesomeness right here. Loving all of this. So, so cool. All right, we got to rip one of those Series 2 packs. So I just want to see if we could pull something. And since Dusty's not going to eat it because he's wandered off. All right. Yeah, always seeing people in Canada getting these. And sometimes pulling some fire. Upper Deck Game Code. Yeah, from 2009. All right, series two oh eight oh nine. Look for young guns. Play complete and collect. All right. Don't think there's any stickage. I like the design this year. All right, Zach Stortini of the Oilers. Shout out fire box breaks. Oh, they do have different photo on the back, too. That's not lazy like now. These are really clean. They look almost like SP Authentic, that white background. Radim Verbata of the Tampa Bay Lightning. And they got their portrait in the back. I'll pull from the back. Mark Savard of the Bruins. Alexander Froloff of the Kings. Val uh, Valtteri Filpula of the Red Wings. I think there's a victory card in here. Jason Blake of the Leafs. Shout out uh, Leaf fans. Oh, there's Young Guns. Dan LaCosta of the Blue Jackets. Nice to get a Young Gun. Maybe not one of the super big names, but still cool. And we also got an Andrew Raycroft uh, victory card in the same pack. On the, uh, so he's shown on the Avalanche, but talks about him being on the Leafs. But, uh, wow, very cool. And we got more of those packs. So more fire will be coming. So thank you so much, Steve, for the polls, sending this awesome rack. And we'll be uh, ripping those uh, other packs, trying to pull some big fire. And good job, Susan, bringing that through that interdimensional portal. Not taking, like, forever to get here. And not extinct here on our channel, Dino Kraken. Oh, also Meowie Kraken. You can never have enough Krakens. So thank you again. Everybody go watch for the pulls. Awesome guy, fabulous channel, good times going on over there. And yeah, if you're in Canada, go try to find these because they're cool. So good luck with your rips. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.